I mean, what are we talking? Four horsepower or something like that? Well, what the... Cut. Show you more. And Tadlock's tool shed called us out. This car has a lovely lawn dial top. Well, it did have. Welcome to RC Industry. Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to another episode of RC Industry. This is the noisiest neighborhood. Sorry for the wind, it's a little bit windy today, but uh, you know, we've made an official call out to Chucky's Garage, and Tadlock's Tool Shed called us out, so we gotta get this lime latte doll running. So let's just jump right into it today. I wanna get the wiring for the fans all secured, and uh, then we're gonna see if this thing will work and see if it'll cool. I, I don't know. Come along for the ride. Show you more. Well, we better put our fender skirt on because we don't want to, you know, hurt this beautiful paint on this pristine automobile. Well, as you can see, this kit pretty well, like we showed earlier, this kit pretty well came with everything we need here. Uh, it's only got two self-tappers, and it looks like from the looks of, of this, I guess you run a screw in there and hold it. Um, so that'll take one tapper and then the other one there's two of these so that's two and then you got to mount these babies somewhere so we may have to dig out some more self tappers ourselves um, but uh, so far it looks like the kit comes with about everything we need uh, assortment of these doodads here and so let's uh let's get an idea of what we're going to do here all right show you more okay so um if you remember that other system we had that immediately didn't work uh, and it was my fault because it was not made for it was made for uh, 15 amps and the fans carry more than that so this one's made for 30 amps so these fans hold, carry about 16 so we should be good but I think we can mount these it says to mount these as close to the fans as possible and I'm sure that's because they don't want this big long wire. I mean, this thing is like, you know, six feet long. So, so I'm going to mount these in here, one and two, and uh, we've already got our ground uh, off of our uh, wires here, hooked to the body of the body ground, and I also ran a ground from this to the body. This ground wire goes down to the engine, which then it, back here in the back is connected to the firewall via this strap right here. So we should be somewhat all grounded, I'm guessing. Then the power that these power to, uh, they've got a battery terminal and uh, uh, an au the auxiliary terminal, which is the fan in this case. So I'm gonna mount these right here, probably because I got these holes. And uh, then we'll run, uh, direct wire from our battery terminal over to those. I'm going to put a fuse on them probably. No, I don't guess I have to because that's what this is. That's right. So yeah, I can just run a direct line over to the battery and then we'll have to run um, this old switch wire that we had for the other one. We will have to um, pull new wire through because this is not heavy enough for this bigger system and we'll put a heavier duty switch inside okay show you more okay well we got our two relay uh, mounts or relay receptors mounted and I can still reach up in here and push my relays in it's real close but it'll work so we've got um, the two leads here these two purple leads will get connected to our two leads to our fan and then these are separate, each fan is separate. So, uh, you know, here we go. Got to cut these off and splice these in. So, always hate cutting new stuff, but you know, 
says mount them as close as you can, and so that's what we're going to do. All right, show you more. Gal drove by and stopped and said, hey, that's a pretty good looking shade tree mechanic there, baby. Luckily, it was my wife. Okay, guys, so you can see here, and gals, you know, when I talk guys and gals and I'm just talking in general here. That's the way I was raised. I, I don't know all the proper he's and she's and it's and all that. I don't understand all that. So, and I'm never going to because I don't want to try. But anyway, uh, so folks, <laughs> so here's where we, our connections go. I try to uh, clean this up a little bit. And uh, of course, this will go back on the battery once we get all the rest of this done. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's start dealing with all of this. Show you more. Okay, so I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run our gray wires here. And they've got to be run back in such a manner not to get into anything. And they hook onto this terminal here for the heat, heat switch. So let me get this routed and I'll show you what we get done there. Captain ladies sing their song, do da. I say, I say, we're going to get this one crimped. There we go. Now let's push this on here. Sort of like so. And let's pull this just a little. I don't want that too big of a kink there. It should, it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to get inside and pull this wire back through that little makeshift uh, conduit that we made, and it should pull that through there. So you watch and tell me. Well, that appeared to work. Show you more. Okay, so we got the switch put in. We pulled that wire through, and then we ran over here to a switch side of the fuse block. And I also went ahead and dropped in a 15 amp fuse. Those relays are not gonna pull that much, but I went ahead and did that anyway. Show you more. Okay, so let's uh, let's button up this wiring a little bit. Here. These uh, these yellow wires, and, uh, just kind of you know make it look a little a little better. Um, if all of this works, I may actually get some wire wrap and put around all this. But you know, I'm still skeptical. I mean, uh, I don't know why. You would take all of this off of here anyway. I mean, what are we talking? Four horsepower or something like that? I mean, this 4,000 pound behemoth, I don't think four horsepower is going to make much difference. But that's my uneducated opinion. So You might comment down below. Or you might not. But keep your comments nice. Because if they ain't nice, I just delete them. So. Anyway. Alright, show you more. Okay, so we got our circuit breakers mounted here. And um, so we're taking our runs that go to the relay. And we are uh, going to put these terminals on here. And then we're going to hook the other side, the battery side of the terminal, up, and uh, that way it'll be on the circuit breaker on the right, on the correct side, not the right side, but the correct side. Get that flashed in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me some better connectors. I know, guys, these are not the best, but this is 
I mean, after spending the money on this kit, I just, I'm just using what came with it. So, and this is what came in it. And apparently, they must think it's okay. Now, I did read in there that um, they're all right with you soldering it and, and using uh, different kinds of connectors and different stuff like that. So, all right, let's get these tightened down and then let's make us two wires that go up and hook into our battery. Show you more. Now the receivers for these little ice cubes uh, were made in the USA, but these little doodads here, they're made in China. So I bet we probably don't have any place in the United States that makes these. That's my guess. Well, I have no idea if any of this is going to work, uh, but I think I put it together correctly, uh, or at least the way the direction said to do it. So I'm going to put this cable up on here and let's see if we let any smoke out. Well, I don't see no smoke. Let's see what we got for oil. Oh, she's full. Well, that might be a little moisture on there. That don't look good. All right, let's see if it'll start. She's a running, such as it is. Let's pop this thing open. Kind of watch this. These old Fords were real famous for running a couple of inches lower, and it actually says that right here. Uh, so you want the level to be like right in here and see if there's the car. Of course, this one don't have a fix tube on it yet, and it's plugged up with this nail, so you got to fix that yet. But Let's see if this thing will warm up and see what happens. So, uh, of course, we don't have any temperature yet. We're charging about 13 volts, which may not be charging, I don't know. And we got 70 pounds of oil pressure. Of course, that's cold. It certainly don't have that when it gets warmer. All right, let's let her run a minute and see what happens. Okay, well you can see that uh, the temperatures are coming up on that thing, so uh, let's get you set up out here and uh, let you watch the fans and see if they come on. Show you more.
like 190. Oh, they just kicked on. I saw them. There they go. They're running now. You see that in there? They, the amp meter kicked on when they kicked on. To this Mr. Chinaman gauge up here, that thing's holding right at about oh, 187, something like that. Of course, we got it up on you know about 1800 RPM here. that's probably going to wrap her up for today we got it running so we're coming after you kent over there at tadlock's tool shed and we're coming after you nathan over there at chucky's garage and uh if i can keep this thing running long enough now it's not getting hot maybe i can find out what's wrong with it because it may have a blown head gasket it could i don't know what's wrong with it but it's a it's it won't idle and so something ain't right but well, we're going to get into that on the next episode. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget about the No Name Nationals. Reach up there and do a hashtag uh, No Name Nationals 500 and get all those folks that are trying to get their 500 subscribers. And remember, we're making it just like brand used here, baby. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby!